Risa, what are you talking about? Haven't you been listening to me? We need to get to the hospital right away before Gwen kills Ethan. Well, Teresa, you're not making any sense. Look, Dr. Russell, she did this report on Ethan's condition, okay? It says that he can't live without artificial means, that his brain damage looks to be permanent. So Dr. Russell asked Gwen if Ethan had a living will. Gwen found it, and in it, Ethan wrote that he doesn't want to be kept alive by machines, so Gwen is going to turn off his life support system. She is going to kill him. Dr. Russell, she took these new tests, and if the results are the same as the old test, Gwen will carry out Ethan's wishes, and she will turn his life support system off. Why is Gwen in this horrible position, Teresa? Why? Maybe because we you... shouldn't get into that right now, okay? Maybe we should go talk to Gwen. Yes, absolutely, because maybe Gwen can give us the whole story. Fine, Ivy, fine, please. What, whatever you think of me, just for, in this moment, can you think of your son, please, your firstborn, and let's go to the hospital right now, and you can stop Gwen from killing Ethan. Let's go. Come on. I tell you, there's so much I needed to, to talk to Ethan about him and the way I treated him when I found out he wasn't my biological son, how I turned my back on him. He forgave you. He had a chance to see you become a wonderful human being over the past few years. I pray with everything I have in my soul that you're wrong about him. I want a chance to make up for my selfish behavior. I need the chance. Trace, get away oh, from him, Gwen! Oh. I won't let you kill him! I won't! Gwen, please, please don't do this. Please don't kill Ethan. Teresa, you need to shut up and get out of here. You have no right to be here. Sam, please get rid of her. Okay, stop it, both of you. Please, Eve. This is our son. Could you explain what is going on? Is Teresa right? Is Gwen going to take him off life support? Teresa is overreacting. What a surprise. I am trying to save Ethan's life. You are the one who killed him. Just enough. Please, this is not about you. It's about Ethan. Now, what if I'm wrong and he can hear every word that you're saying? Do you think he'd be proud of either one of you? No. Conf? Yes. I'm sure that you've heard most of the story. We ran tests on Ethan. There was no brain activity, so I asked Gwen to find Ethan's living will. She did. And now I'm running some more tests to confirm my earlier diagnosis. But we don't even know if the living will has come into play yet, so there's no reason for anyone to get excited. Glenn, if the, um, if the test results come back and they're bad, are you, are you going to do it? Are you going to take Ethan off life support? Ivy, it's complicated. You could do it. I think yeah, I'm, uh, I'm, I'm intruding. Uh, you all, you all know you have my best wishes. must be killing you. You know, for so many years, he was our little boy. Teresa, why don't you come with me? You don't belong here. No. My place is by Ethan's side, Julia. The hell it is. Gwen, please. Teresa, you can stay in the room as long as you stay calm, all right? So that's it, Gwen? If the test results are bad, you're going to pull the plug on my son? I'm sorry, Sam, but it's Ethan's wish is not mine. No.